Hello everybody, Minister Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Mexican campaign featuring the Great War mod. In the last episode, we continued our fighting, um, this war. So far, things are okay. Uh, no real progress. I mean, we were able to make some progress here in China. We exploited, um, some holes that they had left in their line to create some pockets. You want to push this line out a bit further. In fact, we still have a pocket here we need to deal with. Um, you guys take care of that. Um, no real progress here. That's okay. Uh, we were able to force Romania to capitulate, for the most part. Um, but we are kind of stalled along this line for the moment. I do need to check... Looks like they've been able to mostly recover. And most of these troops are Yugoslavian troops and some French, it looks like. And we were also able to launch a naval invasion of Great Britain. We have landed 24 divisions here and are trying to break out from the beachhead. So far, so good. However, I was looking at this and it does say that they have anywhere between 293 and 779 divisions. Um, I did manage to isolate and destroy like 150 British divisions down here in Roma Romania. But if they still have anywhere near that many divisions, it's going to be a hard fight. And there is the distinct possibility we may in fact lose this invasion force, but I'm not ready to give up at all. We still have to give it a shot and see how things go. All right, but this single army is not going to be sufficient to hold this. The only real options that I have are this uh, force of cavalry, which I am moving over, but they're a long way away. Uh, and the other thing is I have these infantry divisions here. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and give them an order to get over here and create a front. So they should get on their way over. One thing. We are losing a lot of these garrison forces because... They like to hop on boats for some reason. And right now, I don't have anything protecting the Caribbean. I mean, I have some naval bombers, but that's about it. My primary fleet... Hold on. I can probably move some ships. Now... They should be able to hold up... Hmm... It's probably just because we're not building a lot of naval bombers. No, we're not building a lot of naval bombers. Um, carrier naval bombers. So hopefully they will get armed. Uh, what I might need to do is put these guys back out on patrol. I mean, they may take a lot of losses. All right. 
So, for the time being, I'm gonna try and break out here. Alright, one thing I did do is I've queued up building naval bases here. I've also started queuing up some forts and some trenches to help improve our defense here. I'm not giving up this particular spot. Alright, we're making some headway. Alright, first thing we want to do is get across here, get ourselves that airbase. Alright, we got it. You push for Glasgow. You guys, prevent reinforcements. Alright. We have the airbase. So, we need some air wings. Let's give them 500 fighters. And let's say 300 bombers. And hopefully they will deploy quickly. I need an alternative naval base. Let's get that building. And we can also build some infrastructure. Get that building. Take this, this will be another naval base. And also cut the country in half. Got it, okay. Uh, stop attacking, please. We need to take up defensive positions. Right, they still have a long way to go. I need to wipe out this division. Alright, our flank is secure. For the moment. Right, we're making some progress here. Push north. If we can secure Scotland, that's gonna help. We managed to get ourselves some factories. Good. We're gonna need some armored cars. A lot of them.
Alright. That's good. Let's see if I can take Inverness. Caught that guy there. All right. Um, actually, you guys stay there. Can actually we help in one of these other battles? See, lost a submarine. Not unexpected. Um, we have some garrison units. Um, what is our current? We're on limited conscription. We're gonna need to switch to extensive conscription. See if we can launch an attack here. Nope, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Okay. Um, would I be comfortable pulling these troops off this line? Not really. Try and escape. Well, do more than try, it would appear. They're bringing back reinforcements. Alright, knock that guy out. Alright, we have air superiority. So we lost a couple of divisions on the way over. We may still lose some. At least we have some fleets there that are holding that area. All right. Um, we're short a bunch of chromium. Spain and Germany. Can you send some our way? Are you guys are aggressive. No, they're not. Oh, we managed to take Edinburgh. We may actually want to stop the aggressive attacks right now. We're not going to be able to defend here. start backing these guys up. Well, they're hitting me pretty hard here.
Oh. Ah, oh, that was wrong. There we go. These guys need some backup. Meantime, we're going to try and take the rest of Scotland. We lost a submarine, but we managed to sink a heavy cruiser. Right, reinforcements are close by. I'm actually going to need some transport planes at some point. Um, let's go with light cruisers. Another line of those. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to delete this. Make sure that all of these guys are on that front. Also, we need to make sure that we have infrastructure under construction. being repaired as well. We're suddenly gonna need a lot more supplies. Alright, took it. See if we can cut them off from Scapa Flow. Maybe I can overrun them here. Nope. Still got through. Alright, let's see if we can wipe this, these guys out at least. Nope, I don't think so. Alright, our first infantry divisions have arrived. Where's the rest of them? Why were they there? That's awfully strange. You guys push the scap of flow. Lost a bunch of transports. All 
All right, Scapa Flow is ours. You guys head over there. They need to get back down there. All right. You guys need to get over here. And you guys create a new army. Get you a general. All right. Lost another sub. Man, they just will not stop attacking, will they? Actually, what might be best is to just retreat these guys off the line for just a second. No, 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 not all of them. Just give them a second to recover. What is this, a naval invasion? Yeah, they're trying to do naval invasions here. Not a bad idea, actually. But a single division isn't going to cut it. I managed to sink two of their battle cruisers for the loss of one submarine. I will take that trade. these guys get them over here all right so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna set up trenches on this line and bunkers I don't have enough force to push out from here so I'm gonna have to get it to a point where I can hold my ground at least So as we build up, we'll have to keep an eye over here to make sure they don't come behind us again. There's 123 enemy divisions there, uh, opposing my 42 divisions. I have these guys. Thirty-two of forty-eight. Can you guys get up here? It's not going to be easy.
British fleet doesn't sink my entire transport fleet. It'd be actually better to come in there instead. Shortest route. Insufficient resources. We're short of rubber. Alright. Grab some from Brazil. About to see what this does to the supply situation. Alright, so far. Looks all right. We are still building that infrastructure, right? Yes. Oh, and actually we need to, the Scottish Highlands as well. It's not as critical, but we'll still do it. All right, we got our first level. Port there, okay. Let them recover some organization, and then we're going to move them to the front. Alright, there's 38 more divisions coming in. That's definitely going to cause a problem. You guys line up. We've almost dealt with our heavy tank problem. We're still losing a lot of support equipment. Probably going to need to queue up production of support equipment as we get more military factories. Man, this this AI here is getting very, very aggressive. What if I couldn't get on the offensive here? Take advantage of their exhausted state. That's the wrong... Wrong guys. No, not gonna happen anyway. Oh, jeez. Then I set up those alternate ports. Alright. What we might also want to do is say get some naval bombers. Have you guys deploy over the water here. There we go. Now we have a big supply problem. 
But what I may do to mitigate it is to take you guys. And get the armored cars off the line. Wait, no, those are not... Why does it retreat everybody? It's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. Just the armored cars, please. There we go. I move the armored cars up here to Fort William. Let the infantry and the cavalry hold the line for the time being. That should help mitigate some of the problems. And they could be here to respond to any more invasions. Alright. Land Fort. Why are these guys not getting any factories on them? Because they're under attack? I guess. Hmm. I wonder if I could launch another naval invasion. Behind their lines, coming to like Newcastle or Liverpool, and cut them off. They come to Newcastle, run across here, and cut them off. A lot of enemy submarines out here. Not over here. So that's a lot of enemy divisions we could destroy if we cut them off. It's like, what, 131 divisions? Hmm. Well, I'll have to think about it here. Uh, looks like they made a little bit of headway in France. Still no progress here, but again, we're not really helping there at the moment. China. Not really sure I should push with my armored cars at the moment. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna have to evaluate some of my options. Some good progress. We've been able to basically conquer Scotland. Uh, we're now kind of stalled here because the Brits were able to respond to my attack. We'll have to see if we can't you know, end around it or do something else. Alright, so, 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.